Let's look at some half cell reactions and write galvanic cells from those half cells. So I'm going to add the half cell for gold, given here. And given that, can I write galvanic cell diagrams and overall chemical reactions for the reactions with the zinc and copper half cells? Well, here's my table now of standard reduction potentials. Let's use that to make galvanic cells. And here's how we do it. Here's gold and copper compared. And when you compare gold and copper, you see gold has the higher reduction potential. So in a galvanic cell between gold and copper, the gold will be the reduction. And I always write the reduction on the right of my half cell diagrams. It occurs at the cathode. And the oxidation on the left, which occurs at the anode. Then I calculate the overall potential by the difference between the right and the left, or the cathode and the anode. And in this case, that difference is 1.35 volts. Fairly simple subtraction to do there. Now let's look at the overall chemical reaction. When I look at the overall chemical reaction, the gold is going to be reduced, the copper oxidized. So let's reverse this reduction that I have. And when I re reverse that and write it as an oxidation, I need to reverse the sign on my standard potential. Now I can add those two, but before I do, I should multiply through by two to make sure the number of electrons cancel and to get the stoichiometry correct. And I do that, but you'll notice when I do that, I'm not going to multiply the potential by two. And I don't measure multiply potentials because potential Electrical potential is an intensive property. It's independent of the extent of the system. So if I had a gold electrode immersed in a liter of one molar gold ions, or a lake of one molar gold ions, the potential difference with that copper half cell is the same. So one liter, or 10 liters, or five liters, all connected to the copper half cell, the potential is the same. It's independent of the extent of the system. I'm going to do this addition, though, and I'm going to get the stoichiometry correct. And then I'm going to add the voltages and get the standard cell voltage. Can I calculate a free energy from here? Now let's calculate the free energy difference, standard state for that chemical reaction. I can get that standard free energy difference from the standard potential difference. Now, though, free energy, that is an extensive property. That depends on the extent of the system. If I have two moles of gold or four moles of gold being reduced, that will change the free energy. And I take that into account by taking into account now that factor of two that I ignored here in the intensive. I'm going to take into account for the extensive property. And I'm going to calculate the free energy as two moles of electrons times Faraday's constant and the cell potential. So that gives me 2 times Faraday's constant times the cell potential. The overall free energy difference, 200,006,509 oh, Coulomb volts per mole. And a Coulomb volt is a joule, so this is minus 207 kilojoules per mole, a spontaneous reaction with a negative standard state free energy. Now, let's go back and do the same thing for gold and zinc. It's actually rather straightforward. It's very similar. The gold has the higher potential. So again, the gold is where the reduction occurs. So I can write the gold on the right, the zinc half cell on the left, and do that subtraction. And I get 1.69 minus a minus 0.76 gives me 2.45 volts for the standard potential. And then again, Let's look at the overall cell reaction. For the overall reaction, the gold is a reduction. The zinc is going to be an oxidation. So let's reverse that and write it as an oxidation. And when I reverse it, I'll change the sign of the potential. Again, I'll have to multiply through by 2 to get the stoichiometry correct for electrons to cancel. But I don't multiply through by my intensive property of voltage. 
I get a overall stoichiometry for the chemical reaction and overall voltage. And I can convert that voltage to a free energy, taking into account now the extent of the system using my factor of two electron transfer. And I can calculate the free energy is two times Faraday's constant times the standard potential. And for this, the free energy difference minus 472, 776 Coulomb volts per mole or minus 473 kilojoules per mole. Again, a spontaneous reaction for the reduction of gold by zinc.